Hi guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to talk about the Raspberry Pi 4, this one, and I'll guide you through the process of installing Ubuntu 2010, that is also available for ARM processor architecture. But before we start, let me remind you, you can subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about all the videos I'll be publishing. Now let's do it. Okay, before we start the experiment, let me show you the bill of materials I have used to make it possible. So I have used a Raspberry Pi 4 board with 4 GB of RAM, a power supply that is the official one for Raspberry Pi 4 with the USB-C uh, connector, a micro SD card from Kingston, industrial grade with 8 GB or more, a micro HDMI to HDMI cable for video, a USB keyboard and finally a USB mouse. Okay, so with this uh, setup, I'll be showing you the install process of Ubuntu inside the SD cards and the boot and install of the operating system. So let's start the process. First, let's go to Raspberry Pi website and go to the software in the menu so we can download the desktop application we need to the SD cards writing process. As you can see we have this application available for macOS, Windows and also for Ubuntu on Intel processors. This is an add install, it's very quick to download in first place but it will take some more time when you write the card because it will be downloading while writing your card. So I will install in the Mac OS is just like that. You move the icon to the applications folder and you are done. After that, let me call the application, give it the permissions it needs to function. And here we have it. So let me choose the operating system. I don't want the official Raspberry Pi OS, but instead I want the Ubuntu, so it will not be this one, either 32 or 64, but the Ubuntu here in this folder. So as you can see you have several versions, please choose the correct one in your case. I'll be using the desktop and for 64 bits, okay? Okay, now we need to address the micro SD card. You have to insert the micro SD card with the adapter in your card reader, like I'm showing you in my laptop. And after that, you can choose the correct drive you will be using. And now you can press write, confirm everything and start the process. In macOS, you need to give permissions to write the the cards okay so the process has begun let's wait until the card writing is complete and after that we are set to run the install inside raspberry pi for the first time this is not a fast process but i have fast forward so you don't have to wait too long here in the video writing is complete now as you can see it will verify everything on the cards and after that process is complete we are ready to take out the cards and making it available for the board so we have to insert the cards on the board so as you can see here we have the raspberry pi board with all the sockets power video audio usb and ethernet and below you have the card socket. I have opened it so you could see a little bit of the aspect for those of you who still don't know the board. And I'm inserting the micro SD card on the socket. And now that we have that completed, let me connect 
the USB uh, dongle for the wireless keyboard and mouse. I will put it on the USB 2 port. Okay. Then I need to connect a video. So I will need my micro HDMI cable. On the other end, I have a normal, the big one, HDMI connector. Let's connect the video. And last thing, I will connect the power cable. So the power supply, official one from Raspberry Pi is already connected. And as you can see, from the LEDs, the board is already running. Let's close the boards like that. And we are done installing the hardware. From this point, we will be taking care of the operating system until we get it running on the graphical environment. So, as you can see on the image on the top right corner, the operating system is already running. We have some activity on the green LED and now in full screen you see Ubuntu installer already starting. We will start the install procedure right away. And the first step is to choose the language we need for the board. In my case, I'll be choosing English and moving on. Now let's take care of the keyboard layout. In my case, I will choose Portuguese. Let's write it down here. And after that, you can press continue to move on. So choose the language you need. Now you will see a wireless network list. I will choose my guest network and put the passwords. So this board can have access to the internet, but not to the local resources I have available. So let's continue. We need to take care of all the local settings. I will choose Lisbon as my time date location. And moving on, let's continue with, with the install. Now let's create a personal account. I will write my first and last name my computer name that will be R S M A T I A S R P I for username I will choose R S M A T I A S and a password let's confirm the passwords and we are done so you can press continue to move on so the install has begun let's wait until everything is copied to the micro SD cards as a complete install system. It's a long process. I'm moving forward quickly. And after this process is complete, you will uh, see the system booting automatically for the first time with everything already set. And here we go. We are booting the board for the first time with Ubuntu already installed. So let's wait until we reach the graphical environment and the login. And here, let me put my passwords and entering uh, the login. When we reach the desktop, you see that all the visual is exactly the same as you know from Intel version of the operating system. So this welcome message and online accounts all the details that are first configured. I will not activate the these features, only the reports to Canonical. And after we are done, we are ready to start exploring the operating system. So first, let me show you some display settings 
about configuring the screen resolution. We are not using full HD, but I will uh, show you how it looks like when we increase the resolution. Let me put here this one, for example, just to give you an idea how it looks. Let's apply. And as you can see, the resolution is not that good. So please adjust the best resolution for your native displays. And uh, in your case, it could be different than mine. I have captured the image in my computer so you, I can show you here in the video. So moving on, let's open Firefox so I can uh, show you how it looks to open a web page in this tool this browser okay let's write raspberrypi.org destination here in the destination field inside the Firefox and then let's wait until the page opens so it moved me to Google I will take care of it because we need to accept the the license and let me click here the link so we can move on okay so we are inside Raspberry Pi web page so as you can see so far it looks like we are using a normal PC right I imagine that you already forgot we are using the Raspberry Pi board and not a regular PC. It looks like that. So let me uh, change the display setting again for you so you can uh, see. And then this time, this intermediate resolution so we can read all the, the letters a little bit better. Okay. So everything looks quite normal but when you use it you will see that the board still needs to improve a little bit in terms of speed so it can handle uh, this graphical environment i'm browsing around the settings now i'm uh, choosing the dark mode for example to change something uh, around the operating system you see that everything is exactly the same and you can explore lots of softwares lots of gadgets uh, in this board like thumb drives, uh, SSD external drives, uh, radio receivers, video capturing. So I will explore that in uh, other videos for you so you can be uh, more specific about the applications you will use. Now let me show you the file manager. As, as you can see, is exactly the same as a regular Ubuntu and the terminal also. I have opened it. Let me show you something about the network. So if you want to configure something, you can go here to the uh, network settings or so specifically Wi-Fi settings in my case. And here on the terminal, let me show you my current configuration, my IP address. So IP address in my interface is 192.168.1.151 in my local network and let me uh, ping uh, Google so you can see that in fact we have a normal network connection we already saw the web page opening but here with the ping we can confirm that again and my IP route tells me that my WLAN interface with my gateway providing me internet connection so for a first overview, we are done, but before we finish, let me talk about execution times. I felt that this board is still a little bit slow for a graphical environment like uh, Ubuntu and the execution times uh, are uh, the following. For example, it took me 14 minutes and 30 seconds to write the SD card and then 11 minutes to finish installing Ubuntu completely. And after I rebooted, it took me 1 minute and 32 seconds to boot Ubuntu for the first time. 
When I entered my password, it took me 21 seconds to open the graphical environment. And if you compare this with a desktop computer, you will see that it is uh, very high in terms of numbers. For example, also running Firefox window took me 11 seconds to be ready to open a web page and uh, about 8 seconds to open raspberrypi.org uh, web page. So uh, my internet connection is not an issue, it is quite fast. Uh, so if I compare with a desktop connection, you, I can see that it is much, much faster. So I, I have no doubt that this is the board that is a little bit slow. And that's, let's wait for a new version in the future for much uh, faster performance. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed my video. And please comment below if you have any doubts or suggestions. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and press the bell button to get notifications about new videos I'll be publishing in the future, okay? Thank you guys, bye bye.